Hello everyone. So welcome to my channel. So in this video, I would be showing you how we are required to do DSS for this particular question. As I had already explained you about how we are required to move ahead with this question and how DSS solution was in my previous video. Now in this video, I will show you about the PFS solution. So let's see how we in real life do PFS for any graph question. First, we make a graph, right? And after making that graph, what we do for BFS? We basically choose a Q, right? And that Q choice is also on the basis of that what sort of element we are required to put in our BFS while doing BFS, right? So, uh, because while doing BFS, we have choices that either we are required to use just simple Q where int uh, is there, right? Or we are required to choose a Q in which uh, we are defining it as q of pair of int comma int or int comma char or com char comma int or a simple q also with a q of q of int q of char and like that right but here everything is on the basis of int only and we are not required to consider a q with a q of pair or something so we'll choose a q of q of int that's the thing which we will be choosing here and a simple dss would be done in this question the only trick which we used in our previous question that was for doing DSS on the question, right? So there what we use the trick for the restricted node was because this question is directly a graph question in which we are directly required to do a DSS or BFS. Only uh, modification which is being done to a simple DSS or BFS question for this particular question is that here restricted nodes are being introduced and for that part how we are required to tackle that particular part is that we are required to mark those restricted nodes in the restricted node itself and then we are uh, good to go with the BFS on this particular question. So this was all crux for doing BFS on this particular question. So now you can either pause the video or code by your own because there are not much, uh, there are no edge cases in this particular question. We are required to just do the direct DSS. We are required to use a visited array. In that only, we are required to mark the restricted nodes as already visited. And then we are good to go for doing our DSS. So yeah, you can pause the video and just, uh, just code it so that you can even code whenever you encounter this question in your interviews also. Because this is somehow a similar question with I was earlier asked in one of my interviews and there I was able to come up with a DFS solution for this thing. So yeah, from that interview only I just recall that there were a lot of students who were asking me for a structured course, one on one mentorship, life doubt solving and so on. So for that purpose, you, I can recommend you for the Newton School and the Newton School is one of the platform which don't ask you for fees at the starting of the course and after your placement only you are required to pay for your fees and somehow this is a course where you don't need to ask your parents that you are you just want to enroll for this course and you require money for the same else the other part of this is that when you would be placed then only you can by your own self pay for your this course and yeah you would be placed so you would be financially independent also right and this course provides you with the packages from 5 LPA to 40 LPA so however your performance would be you would be able to grab the package of that much amount so every detail about the Newton school is there in the description you could follow the link there so this was all which I could recommend you and now comes the next part about the basis of this code question basically so yeah on one more thing even in the basis the time complexity would be the same and the space complexity also would be the same as it was for the dss in the dss what we were doing we were doing uh, we, our time complexity was n plus e and our space complexity was n and why it was so because in dss the thing was that uh, because in DSS the thing was that we were making that graph, right? And that graph was having total n number of nodes and the edges which were, which were there, those were some n minus one edges, right? 
so that's why and even it was a two dimensional input which was being given to us and in that two dimensional you already know that when there is a two dimensional then we are required to go ahead with the row and the column part right so always the time complexity for a particular two dimensional thing comes out to be m into n right so but here thing was that it was making up a graph from existence existence list and that existence list was in such a manner that we were able to figure out with n no, that e plus n time complexity and the space complexity for the same is order of n because we are storing total n number of nodes in our uh, in our that what we say that even in our listed also we are storing for the n number of nodes and even in our graph also so this is how the time complexity and space complexity for the same is now let me show you how we are required to do bss for the question so in this question first thing is that for the graph we are taking this a 2d vector and then now we are making a graph how we make a graph that was the same process as we had made in our dfs that as it is a undirected graph right so because of that thing only we are taking a particular node and then we are checking for the another node and just pushing that node towards the back of the same and that another node and the first node now we are pushing that first node towards the back of the another node so that's the thing which we are doing here now comes the part that we are doing dfs right so we require a cube and then our visited uh, array that's the this one these are seen bool visited array earlier we were taking in the form of int so we were taking 1 and 0 now we are taking in the form boolean so yeah it will be true and false so now comes the part this one so here what we are doing is we are making all the restricted nodes as true right so that uh, after making it as true now we can easily say that we have already visited that so we won't be moving ahead with this particular node so that's why we are doing this now comes the part that int count equals to 0 our count is initially 0 only we hadn't listed any node yet so now comes the next part q dot push 0 so q dot push 0 why we are doing so is just because of the fact we want to start a bss right and we want to start a bss from the zeroth node itself as the question says so we are pushing that first node in our queue now comes the part c in 0 equals to 2 so we are marking it as true just because of the fact because we have already visited it so that's why we are marking it as true now here we are doing the bfs until our queue has some element in that until then only we are going ahead in this queue and then we are doing bfs so that's the thing which we are doing in this so we are checking here we are just picking out the front node of the queue and then popping that out so that we don't visit it again and even we need to reduce the size of the queue why we need to reduce the size of the queue so reason is same so that we don't visit it again and here only because we have processed one node right so that's why we will increment the count here only and here we are moving the head and putting all our neighbors to our queue so that's the thing which we are doing here so we are just taking out that particular node from that graph and then we'll check that if we have seen that before not seen that before that's why we have put that exclamation if we haven't seen that before then we'll mark as seen of j equal to true and then push that particular into the queue so this is the thing which we are doing here and at the end we'll return the count so this is how we are required to do bss on this particular question so this was all for this and i'm going to i have already explained yeah so yeah nothing is left so if you have any doubt you could directly comment that down and please to like and subscribe to my channel so this was all for today for this question thank you